I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Going back to this game, junk? it's really weird the jack is like a Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. And not the, <gasps> the edgelord from later the games. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! I'm fine. My dick's gone. <laughs> Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then And Daxter. You finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied dark eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage, but he lives far to the north, far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. <laughs> All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Savage. Oh my god. Here we are. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Oh, oh god. I hate that. It's inverted uh, camera controls. It has been so long. These floating H shaped things are precursor <laughs> they came broke. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Have you seen how big my fist gets when I punch? Bigger than my head. Oh, 
That's that's terrifying. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. Now, all of you, get out of here! That's a nice little Easter egg there for uh, Crash Bandicoot fans. A little fly trap down there. What's up? Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> this is so creepy. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Maybe we should go root out the fisherman. I heard he was in the jungle fishing by the lower river. Oh, yeah? See those gears up there, boy? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Did you pay the bill? Yeah, hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Sure. Sure, guy. Oh, this guy, this guy, see this? This guy. Man. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. I think she ran away to that misty island. Ow. Oh. I just hope she's all right. How? It's worth a parcel if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We a are little... not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Little glowing squirrel. Little, little land mammal. Made it all the way to Misty Island. I, I don't know how that's... How does that work? This is... One of my favorite video games. It's just... It's very nostalgic for me. I hate this bird. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! I don't even know how many times I'm 100% in this game. It's a very easy game to 100%. Oh, Get to the second game, and it's just well. I see that you have finally decided to. Fergie, <laughs> Fergie, next it. Just a little further. Come on, push the egg off the cliff. Oh my, that was gentle. Careful, easy does it. Oh my, I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. 
Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? I just kind of thought it was weird that there's the sables as the sage that everybody like goes to for help. I, I, I guess. But there's also a mayor. She seems really strange. Like Samus would be the one with all the uh, all the answers and stuff, all the political power. All right, you found all the scout flies in up, this area. Kira? You're going insane. I mean, you're going insane. <laughs> hold on, hold that thought. I'm gonna punch the shit out of this bird. Keep dying in stupid ways? Oh, Destiny solo mission. Okay. Time for Mr. Gravel voice. Who awakens the Oracle? Wait. One of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited. For the true hero to return. Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's one to try the challenge. He's one to try the challenge. Steady boy. Oh. Best. Oh. Right with him. Oh. Oh. Left. Fall apart. Steady boy. Hold steady. You did it. Hell you yeah. Two hundred pounds of fish. Hell yeah. And for a couple of land lovers. Oh, I don't know how many hours I've promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. Hey. It's disgusting the amount of times I've played that game. <laughs> now, whenever we walk by this guy, now, go above him on the bridge. You just hear this manic laughter. A little scary. The green orbs are health. If you pick up 50 small green orbs. Uh, you get a chunk of health back. They have it. Where's the button? It's like, there we go. It's, it's like a three heart system, but it's technically one heart. I love the music in this game. Different levels and different environments. Up a bit. Really? Wow, did you see that? How's that? Classic platformer game boss. Just you throw like two attacks at you, and then uh, oh! I feel like that was a little. I don't know about that. Damn. Oh, did I have one? Maybe I had one heart. Maybe that's what it was. There you go. On the 
this little thing right here. This, this took me fucking forever to figure out. I was, I remember the first, probably the first couple times I played this game. I was missing orbs for the longest time. You had to fucking come down here. And collect one, and then jump on his head again, and collect one, and jump on his head again. I think there's like, five or ten. Five, okay. So dumb. It's funny. This is so dumb. <laughs> so now, actually, you can tell all the little, uh, all the little vine enemies are dead because we beat the boss. Destroying the ecosystem. <laughs> Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there. Uh, just a little bit. It's it's for the greater good. We have to. We have to destroy the ecosystem so that Haven City can exist. And be sad and depressing. Exactly. I have to I have to set myself up for the next adventure. So I can be the hero again. Alright. Now we can get out of here. And just leave this man to laugh infinitely for the rest of his life until he inevitably dies from exhaustion. Everybody else is still kind of in the center of town. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. I hope you put this hard-earned power You did the, uh, the oracle voice? Cheerio. It's a tough voice, man. It takes, uh... It takes a lot of talent. A lot of, uh... Newport lights. It's a special craft. <laughs> Off to Misty Island. But first, I'm going to enjoy some bacon flavored cotton candy. And that's not even a joke, it's actually bacon flavored. It's, it does sound horrible, doesn't it? It's not horrible. I like it. And that's really the problem. Now what? Oh. I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon. I don't know what Kira is. My love interest, my stepsister. I guess technically those could both be possible. You never know these days. Gotta find that stupid cat thing first. That is the, the single most annoying thing about this level. And I will die on that hill. Chasing down the Muse is the most annoying thing about this level. Come on, you fuck. Oh, I almost had you. Oh, you bitch. It's an ambush, Jack! Oh, yeah. It's an ambush! Oh, now they can't fire. Let's keep you out of the use, okay? The use. Oh. That that's 136 of. Hopefully, I can see all of them. There are weird numbers. Orbs here. I almost called them gems. There we go. Alright, perfect. Just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. What? I, I don't... I'm confused by the exchange rate on power cells. Like, wouldn't you want a power cell instead of 90 orbs? It doesn't take up nearly as much space. And it's like a significantly more rare artifact. Oh, I'm amused! You saved her! 
Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. Like, as far as I'm aware, I don't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Orbs don't generate power. Power cells can apparently generate power, as we learn from the very end. I'd rather have one thing that can generate power and is significantly more rare. Whoa! Ooh. I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the blue sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! <laughs> I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. A particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer oh, hi, to the Daddy. nearest trans -band. Ride the Zoomer to a green eco-vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. <clears throat> Apparently, the Precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the I always love that they made they Baxter like sound like he was from the Jersey Shore. It was a weird design choice, but it, it really works for him. I love it. <laughs> this guy. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. <laughs> She's just so up there fucking sniffing his armpit and just disgusted by it. shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, uh, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> you know what? Bring me ninety precursor orbs. Not all the time, but sometimes. Daxter gives me not going to real Kevin Hart vibes. Again. <laughs> Wonderful. You Is that fucked me up? The precursor orbs. All right. I'll fix this. It's true. Yeah, I gotta change my mind there. Get involved with that creature again. Oh, that was spooky. They, just, they all moved right in place. Real weird. That's that's done. We don't talk to that guy anymore. Ah, oh, no, not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. And trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way, you pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're gay, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! These drops to help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell, I promise. Where'd this gag come from? Of like. people losing all their money. 
possessions and shit. I'm walking around with no pants and just like a barrel. Because that's not exclusive to this game. That, that's a thing that I've seen in many a cartoon. I just I never, I never understood where it came from. Chocobo. Let's call it what it is. It's it's a chocobo. It's the best character in the game. Howdy, friends. Enjoy my beautiful swamp. I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Same soon nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. It's only his swamp rats keep stealing them. Will you help me out? Absolutely. Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep him from eating at least one of them snacks. Shoot all them rats. Get some, get some. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was very generous. Fuck. This is harder because the Eco isn't like a moving missile anymore. How did I not get that one? What the fuck? Well, fry my There we go. You sure know how to shoot. Thanks a heap for the help. <sighs> I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Oh my god, I'm lagging. The mole just fucked me up. It juked me. It juked me hard. I was gonna say, man, <laughs> I want to walk right over the burrow. Fuck that. God damn it. This guy, this fucking guy, can dip, duck, dive, dodge, and dive.
That part's really cheeky, because if you fuck that up, it, it's gonna force you off the zoomer, and then you lose so much time. A dirty play. Fuck! <laughs> this is one of your favorite parts of the game, these races? These races are kicking my ass right now. I don't know if this is one of my favorite races. This hub area, this whole hub area, like the Blue Sage area, and all the levels, I think have the best music in the game. Especially, um, the, the Underwater Temple. Have you played all the Jack games? I have played... I've played all these games many times over. Uh, the only one I haven't is, is the one that we do not speak of. Because it doesn't exist. There's nothing to talk about. Thank you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. Here's a yes, the airship one. Out. The airship one that does not exist. I would love uh, this trilogy and Jack X, if they're up to it, uh, to be the next Toys for Bob now I can uh, get back to product. Just remake all of these games and make them look beautiful. Yeah, that, I, that was a big part of what I liked about Jack X, is that there's actually story to the uh, first trilogy racing game rather than just being a normal racing game. Hello? Is it broken? It's broken. Oh my god. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. I had heard that. Never bothered to try and understand any of it. But I had I had heard that you can read the um yeah, that you can read, like, glyphs and stuff. I... I'd be... curious to see if, like, everywhere they show up makes sense. Because there's glyphs all over the place. Glad to be had. Listen, man, you are always... welcome. What John says. You didn't? You didn't finish it? I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that, bud. Jack 3 just says. It just says tomb on the stone walls over and over again? Really? see a winking face? I always thought it was supposed to be a winking face. And I'm... That's probably not what they were going for. But that's... That's wow. how I always saw it. You raised a piece of the underwater ruins to the surface! It's frustrating. Oh, you texted me. Okay. I'll get... I got a bad I'll check it out in a second. Some... Safe from the rising dark eco the dark here. Eco is rising. Okay. That's really, really bad.
You never collected everything? Just didn't feel like it, or did you like? Did you have no, a couple things that you're like, I, I just can't find this. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think I had a couple things like that early on. A really heroic there's a there's a power cell in the next hub world. And I'll point it out. It was over by the spider caves, by the entrance to the spider caves. And you have to. It's in uh, one of those metal boxes uh, that you can't smash unless you have Hello Eco. And it's like wedged in a wall right outside the level. You have to run from inside the level from a yellow eco vent all the way outside the level and jump and shoot it. it took me forever. That is easily one of the most annoying power cells in this game. Why do I go into everything with like hurt. one chunk of health left? Up? Why do I always do that? Oh my god. You were impatient? Fair enough. All set. I was rushing to fights with no help. This is true. You do this in every video game. The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh of relief. But there's no time to celebrate. I don't have a... I don't have a Kyle or a Jones here to tell me to heal. Not that I really have a say in the matter. Right? Oh, the pass. right. You've got to beat them there and destroy the detonator. Yeah, I should probably get moving. reasons well it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle would you dear sister certainly not the red sage gave up with so little effort no fun at all Gull? is that you you've finally gone off the deep end eh and Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What Poor have you Samos. done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You were wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. <laughs> Supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. Sixty-nine power cells. Nice. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. I hope this man got you have obtained enough power, power cells. <laughs> I, <almost said laughs> power cells. I hope he got a, paid enough money to take care of his goddamn vocal cords after this game. For your effort, and the next game, because the there's 
I forgot, there's the oracle that gives you dark powers. How do all of the games have? This gravel voice guy, right? Hey guys, by my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya's Citadel. Yeah, we only need 72 power cells. We're at 71 right now. We could get we could get all the scout flies in this area and just leave if we wanted to. Already here. Oh, that's the one, by the way. That's that damn box that's got a power cell in it. The uh, yellow eco generator is up here. So here we'll do that first. Actually dreading this level. Thank you for following, Mina. Appreciate it. I think it's so funny that they put... They put snow that's so deep in some of these places that you can literally just like... It looks like Daxter is just strolling in the snow by himself. Surprising good soundtrack is Emperor's New Groove on PS1? Really? I never played it. are crazy and unique like cats that become lumberjacks and rock and roll snakes is really good storytelling it sounds really interesting oh, it's on Netflix Let's get in these goddamn spider caves. I think that was the last dark eco crystal. Wait, really? I thought there was one more, at least. They get worse and worse at this game with age. <laughs> Okay. 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 I don't know what happened there. It's cool that they show you the precursor robot, too before the the big boss fight at the end. I'm missing orbs. Fuck. Yes, 
think Willard... Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cell, not gem. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Bird Brain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> All right. With these additional power cells, I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to go, Citadel? Oh, look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. <laughs> him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. <laughs> under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack? Be careful. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> it's about time you two decided to show up. Oh, nice thanks. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Daxter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Classic. Classic Gaul, man. Oh my god. Step one, stay alive. Step two, think about not doing something like that again! <laughs> think? <laughs> you finally come to rescue. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? Enough. <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. Hey, Jack. He's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. Got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. And use my eco power to help open the shield door. Sounds good, man. That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weirdo! <laughs> that was close. That was real close. Close. 
close. Sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You two late sailors. Once I was as limitless to ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness. Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you. <laughs> it has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. Fools! Enjoy your fun row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the elevator up and stop that robot! I do kind of wish they gave Gull a little bit more of a backstory, <laughs> rather than just like, oh, he's a sage that has been studying Dark Eco. As far as we know, he's not evil or anything, he's just, you know, this weird old guy that lives far, far to the north. Nothing to see here. Okay, we're, we're off to a great start. Oh. I was right behind you, Jack! Really, I was. Confused. Sometimes it's just not letting me shoot when I jump. Also, they definitely Choices. save light eco here. It's not okay, light eco. Fine. We'll save the world, it's light eco. But do it quickly before I change my mind. There we go. And that's GG's people. Also time for the best victory dance in all of video game history.
What tops well, that? It looks like I may Nothing have tops that. Hard on you, boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring him on! We can take him again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! Ouch. There's no skip credits, but you can you can fast forward the credits, I guess. There we go. Holy Yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. This is, wow! this is cool and everything. What is it? It's so beautiful. I the precursors. But it it gives you nothing. It's just like it's just a little tease. There's no hidden level. There's no like extra challenge or anything? I don't know. There's, there's nothing to it. It's a bit of a disappointment, actually. But that's Jack and Daxter, boys. It's a great game. Much fun.